Hey everyone, Angie Harness here with Keller Williams. And today we are chatting with my friend, Dr. Dustin Boston, owner of Vital Performance Chiro Chiropractic in Darden Prairie. And if you're someone who doesn't particularly like the thought or enjoy having your neck cracked, Dr. Dustin has a method that does not involve doing that at all. It's very gentle. That's why I personally love it. And also, quick question, um, what should we call this Thursday shindig that we do every Thursday? I, for the life of me, cannot come up with a name, so I'd love your input, total sidebar. So without further ado, <laughs> let's, um, let's talk to Dr. Dustin. Yeah. Um, thank you, Angie. I, I'm really blessed to be on here with you. Uh, you've, you've been a, a big part of, you know, our lives and families and, you know, we're very happy to take care of you. Um, but yeah, like you said, we, uh, we practice in Dardine Prairie at Vital Performance Chiropractic and uh, the, the technique and, and the method that we use in our office just allows us to be very gentle and, and very specific when it comes to delivering an adjustment. Um, torque release technique uh, is relatively new to chiropractic and it combines a lot of the, the, the great techniques that chiropractic was founded on all into one. And the best part about it is, is it's a neurological analysis, always finding the most, the, the, the specific subluxation that is causing most issue and only delivering an adjustment to that segment without having to deliver that, that high velocity, um, you know, the, that twisting and turning that some people don't like. Um, Dr. Scott and I, we love adjusting with our hands. We're very specific if we do choose to go that direction, depending on who it is, every case is a little different. Um, but for the most part, it's, it's very gentle, very specific um, using the integrator through torque release technique. And, and Dr. Dustin, I, one of the things that, um, that I think a lot of people don't know is, is there's not a lot of people who, who use this particular method. I mm -hmm. asked you before we came on and you said it's roughly less than 1500 worldwide. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. Um, give or take a little bit. I know when, when I was first getting advanced certified in torque release technique, um, I think there was right at around 700, seven or 800. Um, so yeah, there's, there's really not very many people that utilize it. We have to go through extra training and, and a curriculum in order to even, um, assume kind of a serial number to be able to, um, get the integrator to be able to adjust, um, the way we do. And how long did that, so you went through your, the traditional schooling for chiropractic, mm -hmm. and then on top of that, then you had this extra training. How long did that take? Yeah. So I, so just kind of the timeline is I did my biochem degree at Lindenwood, um, did a five-year doctorate program right here in Chesterfield uh, at Logan Chiropractic, did a five-year program, and I actually had it finished in three and a third. Um, and then during that time, I'd also take extra classes and curriculums, and torque release technique was actually one that we would go to a couple times a year. So there was um, you know, well over 20, 30, 30 plus hours just in torque release technique beyond all the neuro education. That's fantastic. So would you tell, and of course I'm pretty, I'm quite familiar with chiropractic, been seeing you for a few years now. Um, I think there's probably a lot of people out there who maybe don't know all of the benefits I would love for you to talk a little bit about one of your employees who was, she was, um, wasn't she like spitting up blood? Yeah. Yeah. Tell that story. Cause I think that's a really good example of how, you know, sometimes you might think you have a health issue mm -hmm. and it could simply be neurologically based and happen to do with your spine. So I'd love for you to talk about that a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So there's uh, really the baseline of, of, of kind of the culture. I call it our come from. Our come from for our practice is really focusing on the source, not just the symptom. So I tell everybody, and I'm trying to always get better communicating, but symptoms are perfect. They're not comfortable. I'm not saying, you know, they're fun, but they're 
they're perfect. You know, a smoke alarm goes off, you know, there's fire. So that's really the, the come from we have in our practice is let's, let's analyze the body and find the root cause, find the source. And if the nervous system controls everything that we're doing from me moving to my hands, to my heart beating, my lungs, you know, doing the oxygen exchange and the respiratory rate, all of those things, digestion, um, it, it then, it can also allow, and we're seeing a lot of this now, of digestive issues. Um, one of the really the more functional things that we deal with in our office is um, digestion issues and her, and we've got another practice member that started just recently too, had very similar story where they would eat, they'd have, you know, bloating or pain after meals. Um, they, they couldn't eat some of their favorite foods. Um, and but they would also, you know, either regurgitate, vomit, or, you know, just have these symptoms. What happens is if the body's not able to digest and process what you're intaking, just very simply, if your body's not going to process it, it's going to come out. If you do that in excess, and this will probably make a lot of sense to, to everybody, you know, you literally just rub the inside of the lower esophagus raw in a sense, or you do have a digestional lining issue, which is when we start to hear about ulcers and things like that. So ulcers is what is there, but why have they occurred is what we need to figure out. And if there's a, if there's a subluxation in the mid thoracic spine and the mid back area, um, that really covers a lot of the, the upper and middle digestion, the nervous system controls and coordinates every function of the body. So everything from our body movements to our organ systems functioning. And sometimes it can sound too easy, but it really is. If you look at the nervous system first, you can really start to pinpoint which areas of the spine protect a particular nerve nerve that goes to the stomach or goes to the liver or pancreas or upper digestive organs. Um, and it can really make a huge difference and shift people who are having those kinds of struggles. So in the mid thoracic spine, um, that's the area of the nervous system that really innervates or, or gives power to those areas. So upper digestion, kidneys, liver, um, pancreas, um, those areas, that's where that function comes from. So if there's any subluxation or, or misalignments or pressure on the nervous system in that area, um, it's not uncommon for people to have, uh, you know, similar symptoms to things where you hear about IBS or ulcerative colitis or diverticulitis, Crohn's, which are very, very real things. And especially with the autoimmune conversation the way it is now, those are very, very real things. But oftentimes what we're finding is, those are, we can have symptoms, but not actually have the label of that, not actually have the disease. Um, so we really focus on getting an analysis of the spine and the nervous system, a good health history with everything that's going on with that person and really dive in to find the source of what is going on for sure. I love that. I, I see where this could actually, if someone is having some health issues, chiropractor may chiropractic may or may not be the solution. However, it's definitely going to, first of all, I think I believe in, it. I think it's very good for us. And if someone is having autoimmune systems, this also could be sim systems, symptoms. It could be one process of elimination. You know, you get the spine lined up yeah. and then if you were still having symptoms, okay, well now you, you know, you need to look at different things. Yeah, absolutely. One of the things that we often say in the practice is, and I, I kind of stole this from my buddy, Dr. Ryan, who practices in Chesterfield. Um, we both kind of work on the same premise of the last thing we want anybody to say is, man, I wish I would have known in any scenario. I do that a lot. We see a lot of pregnant women, and I know you've seen a lot of, of pregnant women come to the practice, Angie, and it's like mm -hmm. a lot of people don't know that chiropractic can really help decrease labor times by even up to 50%. We've had 15 or so women from November to current um, who have been under care, who have now given birth and our average labor time from active, like, okay, go like you're in active labor to baby out is like right at seven hours. And a lot of moms are like, That's you know, or, or now lucky grandmas are like, man, I wish I'd have known that 30 years ago. And it's like, so we're really huge on the education and we really hope people take that, that shift, no matter what it is concerning health. Um, you know, how can we look at this a little different and, you know, what is the link? What is the relationship? Is there something more I need to know? Absolutely. I love it. And your wife is a walking testimonial. 
you know, two, <laughs> two kids already and, and baby number three on the way. So yeah. um, she's definitely a picture of someone who has had um, some, I, I think from what, from what you guys talk about, pretty amazing deliveries. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You had said something too, when we were talking about uh, um, the, the story before we, we had our interruption, um, you brought up a good point about scoliosis. And you've also seen a lot of kids in our practice. Um, and scoliosis sometimes it can go unseen for a very long time. It's not necessarily anything you can see from the outside. Sometimes you can, but I think once we see these people and, and they unfortunately find out that maybe there is a scoliosis or there is some sort of curve in the spine, that really grabs hold, but it starts to make sense of how, whether it's headaches or migraines, thyroid issues, digestive issues, um, you know, numbness and tingling, those curves of the spine create, you know, the subluxations that will give you those symptoms. It puts a lot of pressure on the nervous system. That's what the spine protects. That's what it's there for. So scoliosis is definitely something we see. And, um, you know, we love getting kids checked as they grow and mature. We're about 30% pediatric anyway, um, and growing that right now, which is great. But it's definitely something to, to make sure, um, you know, rule it in, rule it out, and, and, and get a good idea of what's going on with the structure of the spine. That is such a good point. And I think, and I know, like, I've, my daughter is in North Carolina, and I've mentioned chiropractic to her, and she was always very concerned about um, having the kids go to a chiropractor because, uh, the traditional method, it just scared her. And, and, not, and I'm not that there is nothing wrong with it. I right. went, went to doctors who do that method and, and it was great. The thing with this, if you're a parent, because you're using that integrator tool and it's literally just, it, it's just a tap. You, right. you barely, I mean, you feel it, but you barely feel it. It's not like, to me, I would describe it like somebody went like that. <laughs> it's a little flick is all it right. is. That's how it feels to me anyway. Um, right. So it is very gentle. So if you are a parent and you're thinking that you're, you know, your child might be in need, this is a very gentle system. Highly encourage you to check them out and um, at least have a conversation. And yeah. you have a big event coming up this weekend we need to talk about. We do. So we are, uh, we're putting on, we're just calling it a parking lot party. Um, one thing that we've always tried to do in our practice is give back. Um, we, we always want to, we, our kind of vision or our mission, I don't know if we've really defined those things, but what we call it is we just want to create a community for anybody who has or hasn't ever been a part of one. Um, and this is one way we do that in our office. So we try to do a lot of give backs and giveaways, but we really wanted to shift, especially as, after the crazy year we've had. Um, if people want to come out and enjoy some some fun, some vendors, some local small businesses, we are one, you are one. There's a lot of us, you know, in our area that are small business driven um, and but also family oriented. And we just wanted to be able to put this on. We're going to have EMS and fire there. We're going to have, like I said, small business vendors there. There's a new snow cone place that's opening up right next to us. Um, we're going to have some race cars there. If anybody's, you know, kind of followed a little bit of our story or, or kind of knows me personally, racing is, is a big, um, other passion in my life. So we're going to have some dirt modifieds there. Um, we're going to have a dirt late model there. We're going to have actually a silver crown car, um, a quarter midget, which is more for kids. Some adults actually wheel those things, but even kids, and we just want to have a fun, fun time and just give everybody something to do. No strings attached. It's going to be in our parking lot, um, in town square, right behind town square pub where the movie theater is off of, uh, um, highway N and, uh, Brian there. It's now town square Avenue. Actually. I don't know if you mm -hmm. knew that, but they changed, yeah. you know, they changed highway into town square Avenue. Um, but the theater's right there, the red Robin, I'm sure you guys kind of know where I'm talking about, but we're going to take up as much of that parking lot as we need. It's going to be from 11 to two this Saturday. Yeah. It's going to be great. Yeah, I think one of those cars might have a pretty cool logo on it. Oh, this way. <laughs> yeah, there is. It's yeah, it's right there. Yeah, link in the bio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, Angie. Um, Angie does sponsor the race car, which we are very, very grateful for. We partner with her, and that's one of the ways that we give back to small businesses as well. With my office and a lot of small businesses, but it's a really cool thing to see kids get fired up about everything from snow cones to race cars and food trucks, and we're gonna have it there. That is so wonderful. One of the other things I love about when I come into your guys' office is that you're, you're not, um, 
you're, you're not um, shy about your faith. And so I love when I come in, I hear that the modern um, Christian, you know, praise and worship music going on there as well. So I, that's just something I personally enjoy um, yeah. as well that you are definitely, uh, you know, we can definitely something that means that. a yeah, definitely something that means a lot to us the way that I've grown up. Um, you know, you know, we just we're not going to hide from it. We're going to you know, we're not going to press it either. But there's been some big shifts in that regard in our practice, too, which has been pretty cool. But um, it's 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 a fun place to be. And, and we're glad to have you a part of it. We're glad to see as many people as as we do right now. So it's the, and I, I hope people, you know, even from this, just ask questions. I'm, I'm open for questions. I know what's out there about chiropractic, but I really want to hear what, what mm-hmm. questions people have. So, you know, if anybody ever wants to reach out or they reach out to you, Angie, I'm, I'm all for a conversation just to kind of meet people where they're at. I, I want to learn how to communicate better about what we do. I really think we can, we can make a shift. I know we can make a shift with, you know, what chiropractic can provide, not just us. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, it's definitely a worthwhile thing to look into. Any parting thoughts that we didn't cover that we need to cover? You know what? I, I you know, as, as, as much as you've done for us, Angie, you know, we really appreciate you. Um, for those of you that know Angie, and I think almost everybody does, if you don't, you need to. Um, she's a true blessing to, to know. And even in the real estate market, she's, she's a gift. Um, she's on your team. She has everything, everything you need to be successful, whether buying or selling your house. Um, but more than that, you know, small business aside, Angie, you know, we love you and everybody you're, you're a huge asset to anybody who knows you. So I really do appreciate you. Wow. Well, thank you very much. I was, that was, I, I paid him the sale. No, I didn't pay him. Thank you. I was not expecting that. Thank you so much. Well, you know, I think the world yeah. of you and Erica, I think you're just lovely, lovely couple and, and just wonderful people. And you, you know, you care about the community and, and that's, that's all good stuff there. So yeah. So yeah. go to, go to the party, everybody, even if you don't want to go get an adjustment, just go to the party. They're going to love to have you show up. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it. I, my, uh, my bonus daughter is coming to town this evening and we're her uh, wedding gown. Uh, we have to go to, uh, or we get to go to Clayton for her um, gown fitting Friday morning or Saturday morning, excuse me. So uh, I'm going to try to s- pop in on the way back if we get done in time, but I have no idea. Yeah. Well, hey, we'll be there. You'll be there on as a logo, but yeah, this Saturday, 11 to two guys, it's going to be fun. We're going to give away a lot of cool stuff too. So be there. Ooh, there you go. There you go. Mm-hmm. All right, everyone. This has been Dr. Dustin Boston with Vital Performance Chiropractic over in Darden Prairie off the highway in, now in his town, town center, town square boulevard. Um, mm-hmm. Thank you, Doug Potts, for that. And uh, I'm Angie Harness with Keller Williams. Have a blessed rest of your week and enjoy your weekend, everybody.